It's time for Lazy Inside Fan Friday because it was super cold and windy outside. We're going to the snow dogs. This is Troy and it's Fan Friday. First thing first. Uh, if you did not do so yet, go check out Monday's video. We're doing a giveaway of a Galaxy Wolf Spirit Hood. So you definitely want to go check that out. And then Wednesday's video, we introduced you guys to the new Loot Pets box. So you should definitely go check those out. Now, let's get to some questions. First question, do you seriously still have your Christmas tree up? Nobody asked that, but somebody's going to ask that now that I've done this video inside. Yes, my Christmas tree is still up because of Shiloh. Parker Richmond from Instagram says, what do you have planned for this channel in the future? Uh, hopefully more traveling this summer, some more camping, taking the girls some cool places, maybe actually being able to meet some of you guys, that would be really cool. Um, more treat videos, more fun unboxing videos, more product review videos. I don't know. What else would you guys like to see from us in the future? Just fun. We just want to have fun. That's all. Let's just have fun. <laughs> the Paw Gang says, can any medium large size dog breed pull a sled or does it have to be a dog bred for snow? Uh, any working dog can pull a sled, really. Any dog that was bred for working can pull a sled. Uh, if, if working is what they like to do, then pulling a sled is just working and they'll probably enjoy doing it. I've seen labs pull sleds. I've seen gold retrievers do it. I've seen border collies do it. So if you have a dog that likes to have a job, you could definitely try pulling with them. BMP Dog Lover wants to know if we have any advice for what to do when walking our own dogs and we come upon stray dogs. Now this is something that can be very dangerous. If you're out walking your dogs and you come upon a stray dog, if it's a friendly stray dog, you're usually okay. But the hard part is what happens when it's a not friendly dog. Um, they had also mentioned that two Amer the neighbors to American Bulldogs actually attacked their dog last Saturday. Thankfully, there was no injuries and the dogs were okay. You know, it's, it's a hard thing. A lot of times when I'm walking my dogs, I usually actually have like a stick that I carry. And it's basically just if we run into a stray dog to poke at it. Uh, if you're in a neighborhood when it happens, if you run into a stray dog and you think it's going to be aggressive... I would start yelling. You want somebody to know what's going on. There are people that will tell you to carry uh, bear mace. Now the problem with bear mace is if you try to mace a dog that's attacking your dog, if the wind's blowing just right, mace could get in your eyes, it could get in your dog's eyes, you could injure your dog, so there's that. Um, that could happen, but some people do use that. There's also, I don't know what they're called, they're like a police baton but they have like a, it's not like a stun gun, but they have like a shock at the end of them. They're run on a battery, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna kill another dog, but it's definitely gonna get another dog to stop attacking your dog or hopefully scare them away. And a lot of times, I guess, the sound, when you turn them on, they make like a snap sound. That electrical sound, they say a lot of the times, is enough to scare another dog away. That's something you could look into. You know, it's probably something we should look into more. Thankfully, most of the times when I walk my dogs, we don't really run into much of anybody. And whenever we have run into other dogs, you know, usually just yelling at the dog or continuing to walk with our dogs and ignoring the dog has worked for us, but we haven't run into any aggressive dogs. So if anybody else out there has any advice on this, on what you should do when walking your dogs, if you run into aggressive, an aggressive dog or how to prepare for that, leave some comments down below. I think this could really be a good discussion. I think it's something important that we're definitely going to have to look into a little bit more and uh, see what can be done. Ah. That's a good question. Bianca8505 says, where do you store all the toys for the girls? In that bucket over there. I really need to go through it too because half the time they don't even play with the ones in the bottom but pretty much in that bucket, in that bed. <laughs> I usually go through it every once in a while and like throw away anything that's been torn open and anything they don't play with anymore. And then anything that's in decent shape, I donate. So it's probably time we do that. Christmas happened, so there's a bunch of toys in there. Speaking of toys, Write A Word says, how fast do the dogs kill stuffed toys? As you can see, not very fast. They actually, Shelby will tear apart little toys pretty quickly most of the time, but 
then there's times where they just last forever. I mean, that's the turkey we got in the Thanksgiving paw box. And there's a snowball one of you guys got for her. There's a Snoopy one of them got for Christmas. They're not real fast on tearing up toys, but then they'll be really, really good with them. And then all of a sudden one day they'll decide to tear up like five or six at a time. So sometimes it does, it, sometimes it takes them a really long time to tear them up. Aaron ABQ says, do the neighbor, do your neighbors know that your Huskies are famous on YouTube? And do you get recognized in your town? Um, I don't know if I considered us famous just yet. I mean, I guess, I guess you guys are kind of YouTube doggy celebrities, aren't you? I guess they kind of are. Um, do we get recognized around town? Yes, there have been a couple times where we have been recognized around town. Speaking of today, I went to the P.O. box to pick some stuff up and ran into somebody there who knew who we were, and that was kind of interesting. Um, do the neighbors know that the dogs are famous? Yeah, actually most of the neighbors around here know that we do YouTube, and uh, we know a lot of our neighbors, so it's kind of cool. So, I guess, yeah. Do we get recognized? Yeah. Do people know in our local town who our dogs are? Yeah, they do. But you gotta remember too, before we even started doing YouTube, Shiloh was on a lottery ticket. Just after we started doing YouTube, Shelby was on a Bissell vacuum cleaner box. The girls were on Animal Planet. Um, so they've been on TV and had other things that they've done that like has been in our local newspaper and stuff like that. So a lot of people in town do know who we are and do know our dogs. So, you guys know we get a ton of questions every week. We probably got this week alone almost 300 questions between Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook that were submitted for Fan Friday. If you guys are not following us on Twitter, our Twitter account is gone to the number two, the snow dog. So it's gone to the snow dog, or I believe you can actually search gone to the snow dogs and it'll come up. If you have a Twitter account, you should definitely go follow us on there because we're gonna be testing out this new app hopefully sometime this weekend, where you guys will be able to submit a question and we'll be able to answer it in video form directly on Twitter. Hopefully we'll be doing some of that this weekend, so hopefully that will help us be able to answer more questions than we normally do just on Fan Friday. So if you want to check that out, follow us on Twitter. There's also a link down in the video description below. We got some mail, we got some mail. If you guys aren't following us on our vlog channel, then you haven't seen this yet. Well, you probably saw it in the unboxing of the paw pack. But this ball has become Shelby's favorite and Oakley's favorite ball. The company that made these is called Fluff and Tough, and we got a package from them. So there is all the information for Fluff and Tough if you guys want to check out their stuff. And here is what they sent. They sent us another one of the charity balls. Shelby just took the one that I had and took it over there. Look, Shelby. Check this out. Look. Look. Now you each can have one. And look. Here's another one. Oh, oh my goodness. Oakley's like, I get my own? You can quit taking the other one away? See, so there's the original one that Shelby took. Look. I think I officially found Oakley's favorite toys. It's these fluff and tough balls. How cool is that? Did you get a new one? Now you and Oakley can share. You guys can share. <laughs> and then we got a rope toy. Maybe Memphis will take that. There you go. Since the other girls got the balls, you can take the rope toy. And this awesome drawing of Memphis with an angel on one shoulder or the devil's on her shoulder. That's pretty cool. And some buttons with the girls on them. That's pretty neat. And we got a letter from Lucy and some drawings. And she wants to know how old Oakley is. Uh, we don't know. Somewhere between 9 and 12. And how long have we had her? I think we're going on, what, 3 years? 4 years? 4 years, I think, almost now. And a Christmas card from Sophia. And we got some drawings from Lauren. There's one on her letter. Here's one of Memphis. Here's one of a cute little dachshund. One of Oakley. And one of Shelby. And we got a letter and a drawing from Alex. And a drawing from Luke. And we got a card from Bryson with some drawings of the dogs. Shelby found the squeaky part of that red ball. And there's a Shiloh, woo! And there's an Oakley. Look, it's you, Oakley. And we got a letter from Z, and Z wants to know, what is your favorite book and what was your first pet? Gosh, favorite book off the top of my head is The Rainmaker by John Grisham. And first pet was a St. Bernard. And we got a drawing from Victoria. And a Christmas card from Rowena. I hope I said that right. And we got some drawings from Erin. There's the Instagram and the YouTube, one of Shelby, and it says, are huskies good with cats? 
Some of them are, most of them are not. One of Memphis, how much exercise does an adult husky need per day? A lot. If you don't have more than one husky, you should probably be walking them about five miles a day. And Oakley, what would you say would be the minimum amount of space for a husky? It depends on how much you're exercising them. If you exercise them a lot, then they don't really need a ton of space. I mean, really, we're in the living room and this is where they wanna be. They wanna be in here. They don't need a ton of space, just a ton of exercise. All right, you guys, that's all we have for Fan Friday Inside today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully you've kind of been sitting behind me this whole time. I feel like I should turn and look at your beautiful face. As I said in the beginning of the video, head on over to Monday's video and get entered to win that Galaxy Wolf Spirit Hood. It sounds like probably next week or the week after we're actually going to be giving away a Husky Spirit Hood. So you should definitely check back for that. Uh, Wednesday we introduced you guys to the Loot Pets. And today is Fan Friday. <laughs> Uh, if you're looking for more videos from us, you can always check out youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs and you can check out youtube.com slash arcade snowdogs. So we have a vlogging channel and a gaming and toy channel. You can definitely go check those out. <laughs> for those of you that are new, it looks like our channel grew quite a bit this week. And for those of you that are new, we would just like to say thank you very much for subscribing. We're glad you found us and became a member of the audience. Somebody asked me the other day, how do I become a member of the audience? All you have to do, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, comment on them, and tell your friends about us. That makes you a audience member. We should get audience member shirts made. That'd be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be fun. Did you wink at me? Is that some kind of code? Did you wink at me again? Is it some kind of code? Just wondering. Let me know if that's some kind of code. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Uh, Alright you guys, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you soon. Goodbye. You sound like you're snoring. Are you snoring? Oh, it's the biggest yawn ever. My fluffy girl, I know my fluffy girl. Yeah. Turn around and roll.